mathematically it's known that unitary transformations double cover orthogonal transformations, but what does this actually mean? This is to say that two unitary matrices are required in order for there to be something equivalent to a standard rotation matrix. This can be seen on the animation here where two unit the two unitary transformations live on a sphere and those two unitary transformations get connected by a line and that line then intersects a bisecting plane, right? And then the point at which that line bisects the plane is the point that is regarded as the point that we live in. This is the world of orthogonal transformation. So you have two points getting mapped onto one point on a bisecting plane, and that plane is regarded as or called the real projective plane. So the idea here is that we live on the real projective plane, whereas on the sphere we have unitary transformations. But there's another type of mapping that we can do, and this mapping is called the stereographic projection mapping. This is again where you take two points on a sphere and you map those two points onto a plane outside of the sphere. In this case, we also again have two points being mapped onto one point, and this is really important in ideas on grand unification and twister theory, which is something that you can learn more, learn more about on this channel. So for the code and a lot more, make sure to hit up my Patreon page. You can hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.